the supplies you're going to need for sewing your sewing machine cover. I have one yard of quilter's cotton in an adorable flamingo print made by Timeless Treasures and I purchased it at our local quilting store Stitchcraft where I just love the people over there they're wonderful you're also going to need ribbon it can this is three eighths of an inch wide but you can use a quarter three eighths or a half this is for tying on each side some sort of marking pen interfacing I have iron-on interfacing a ruler a little tool that you can turn and poke your corners out so they look perfect and scissors or a rotary cutting tool if that's what you like to uh, cut with here I have my fabric laid out and marked and my fabric is pre-washed and dried because the sewing machine cover is going to need to be washed periodically because it will get dusty and maybe even a little bit of oil on it so the dimensions that you will need to cut are 18 and a half inches across the fabric on the cross ways and 28 and a half inches in the length and you can see that I have it marked in red let me get a close up right here you can see that I have it marked in red now the finished dimensions will be 18 by 28 so we're going to cut 18 and a half inches across and 28 and a half inches in length and you'll have a quarter inch on each side for seam allowance I went ahead and I cut my face fabric and placed it right sides together and I've marked the center of the 28 and a half inches in length on both sides here and here the next piece that you will be cutting is interfacing and it will be 18 and a half inches wide by 14 inches in length after you cut that piece find the center of the 14 inches and then match that up with the center of your face fabric on both sides this will be fused down to just one of your face fabric pieces the next thing you'll do is place your iron-on interfacing with your dots together on top of your fabric on the wrong side when applying fusible interfacing you really want to hold and press and pick the iron up and hold and press that'll give the fusible glue a chance to break down and to bond to the fabric next you will measure out four pieces of your ribbon 18 inches long now I have my fabric placed face to face and you will place your ribbons inside at the end of where the interfacing is all four pieces where each interfacing ends then you will start at the top corner and sew down a quarter of an inch all the way to the bottom and then you will flip your fabric over and start at the top and sew this side down at a quarter of an inch here I am in front of the machine and I'm ready to sew I have my machine set up in the center needle position doing a straight stitch and I have my stitch length set up at a 3.0 the presser foot that I'm using for this project is the quarter inch foot that came with the Singer 9960 this foot can only be used with a straight stitch with your needle in the center position 
Now I'm ready to start sewing. Start at the top of one side, place your fabric in at a quarter inch, place your presser foot down and start sewing. I'll do a quick back stitch and then start sewing forward again. I don't like to sew over pins, so I'll remove my pins as I go. So just take your time, you don't have to be in a hurry. And sew all the way down this side, and then start at the top of the other side, and sew all the way to the bottom as well. Go ahead and press your seams open on both sides. This will make it easier later for when you turn it right side out. You'll have nice crisp seams. I went ahead and sewed a quarter inch seam along one end and the other I sewed and left about five inches open in the center so that I can turn it to the right side. Don't forget before you turn right sides out to trim your corners so that when you turn them out using this nice little tool you can have nice precise corner like that. Now that the sewing machine cover is turned right side out and pressed nicely you'll want to slip stitch this opening closed on the back of the cover and you'll also want to tie your ribbon ends in a little knot just so they won't fray over time and washing. Here I am in front of my machine and I have the short bed attached and the extension table standing just behind my machine. Then I go ahead and I place the whole sewing machine cover over the entire unit and tie my ties on either side to secure it and keep it dust free. I hope this is a project you'll find interesting and you'll give it a try. So have a happy creative day now. Bye!